Tonight we will honor 14 new Disney legends, and it's my distinct honor to introduce the first one. This is, see from my words whether you can guess who I'm talking about. Ready? From a galaxy far, far away. I can tell you're getting it. <laughs> to treacherous ancient temples and the furthest reaches of the world. <laughs> Maybe I should stop. I don't know. <laughs> he has portrayed some of the most timeless heroes to ever appear on the big screen. <laughs> but before he was the captain of the Millennium Falcon or a globe charter, a globe trotting archaeologist, Harrison Ford was like so many aspiring actors who come to Hollywood in pursuit of their dreams. Now, while he had some early success, <laughs> while he had some early successes, it wasn't enough to make a living on, and he continued to work as a self-taught carpenter to pay the bills. Probably still pretty good at that. Now that all changed when he landed the role of Han Solo in George Lucas's Star Wars and established himself as one of the most charismatic actors. He then caught the eye of Steven Spielberg and in Indiana Jones, Harrison redefined the action hero, injecting his own unique brand of humor from a character that has won the hearts of audiences for over 40 years. And for those of us, who have gotten to know Harrison and had the pleasure of working with him, what he quickly learned is that he is the what he quickly learned is that the charisma you see on the screen is real, and that's just who he is. He's a man of deep integrity, big heartedness, with an incredible work ethic. And that dry wit isn't scripted either. It's precisely why he is such a cultural icon. He is the definition of the leading man who stands alone in a category all his own. So take a look. Hey, take one. Is the Emperor have a new weapon that can do this? I know about it. I've heard something. Oftentimes when you're sitting in a room saying, we need to find another Harrison Ford, you can't find it. He doesn't exist. Hey, boy. I'm Captain the Millennium Falcon. Yeah! Very aware of when the movie started waiting. Well, let's look right here, brother. I remember thinking, that guy Harrison Ford, he's gonna go somewhere. Never tell me the odds. A third from Vader. Because I'm waiting for you more of the movie. How long I get through, you know, I get through this. 
and her comedy of errors. It is part of Harrison's charm and character. I don't want you, I don't want gold. He's very grounded and down to earth. Oh, really, you're called? I remember him saying, you know, look what we get to do. He just says, in awe of the process. Sure, we're all in awe. I always thought he would come on set and be like, I'm Harrison, and then everybody would be like, yeah, but no. It was a good time, it was him creating this character from the ground up. Movies make him tick. People who care about movies make him tick. He signed his action. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you cannot look at the archive of American cinema without thinking it was a fool. When they say Harrison Ford type, I guess that you can tell that guy. Who are you? Harrison, 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 Harrison. Please welcome Harrison Ford! So does everyone else. But the stories are for you, about you, about us, our common humanity. And to be able to work in that area is a privilege. We have a bond between us that's based on the quality of the product, and Disney produces great product. Disney is a giant ship, and a giant ship needs an able captain. And the great generosity of that introduction deserves my acknowledgement of how important Bob has been in the work that I've done and in a creative and business capacity, but he's also become a dear and trusted friend. I'm very honored to be in the company of the other people that are being uh, honored tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm really <laughs> delighted and a little bit embarrassed by this, 
but I'm so very grateful. Thank you very much.